Um, because obviously you met. Uh, no, when yeah, you were, I get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you met at nineteen, right? Let's start there. Mm-hmm. 19, you met at 20, nineteen. On 20. Nineteen twenty. What were you doing at the time, and what was he doing at the time? Just kind of, I know roughly what it is, but let's just build yeah. up that story a little bit. Yeah, right. Let me go ahead and tell you. So, um, I was playing basketball at Albany State University. It was my first year, but it was my second year in college. Don't get me in trouble, Mr. Gilbert. I'm sorry. But I was working as a waitress I was old enough. But, um, <laughs> at the time. So they let me work there. I was always a hustler. Like I said, I was working at Hip Hop Fish and uh, Chicken in Albany. I was working at Steak and Shake. And I was working at as a waitress. And I was Three playing jobs. basketball. Hold on. And I was playing basketball. Watch this. And I was running track. And I was on scholarship. I just wanted to make a lot of money. But when I was making so much money as a waitress, and bartender at Albany, I quit the other two jobs because I moved off campus. My coach was really just trying not, he was trying to play with my money. He's like, look, would you live off campus? I don't need to be paying for this. So I was like, okay, don't worry about it. If you play with my money, <laughs> then we're going to have a problem. So my dad always put work into me, but I was doing that. I was working as a waitress and a bartender one night. Um, and this is back when I want to say Light Bulbs and Pond Trees, when that album came out. Um, he came into the club. Uh, he was staring at me, so I was like, "Who is this man?" Because when you think of field mob, you think of field mob. You don't, you don't really think of a face. Okay. But yeah. it was something that looked like he looked, you know, who is this? Why well, I feel like I know him. Um, so one of the waitress came up to me and was like, "You know who that is?" And I was like, "No," but he looked familiar. And then she told me, and I was like, "Oh, okay." But he walked straight up to me, um, said a couple of things. Next thing you know, <laughs> that's how we met. Making out, my boss made me clock out, clock out at the time because he's like, "It's too much, doing too much," and we just been back and forth ever since. So, but I was a child at the time, and I was a kid. Mm, okay, so at the time yeah. you kind of knew who when you when you saw it when you saw him, you kind of felt like you knew who it was. I'm guessing obviously then after a little bit of time you knew who where he was from, Field Mob. Um, he's a rapper. You're obviously going into your basketball. Mm. And he would come to the games. I I I mean, I'm just going to be real with you. Like, we were talking, he would come to the practices, came to a few games, and think about it. Like, I'm 19, 20 years old. Like, I'm like, wow, he's really coming to my game, supporting me. Mm. You know what I mean? And everyone knew about it. So, like, just to be honest, like, it's two members in Field Mob. It's him and Sean J. We all know Mm. each other. Sean J knows. So, when I see little comments, like, are they even together? Do they? Even, I mean, that I'd be like, okay, people gonna say what they want to say, and that's fine. But I feel like that's who I knew back then. Of course, I felt like there was stuff, you know, just because he was a little older than me. So we were never at the time when we first met, just boyfriend and girlfriend. That came later, maybe a year later, or something like that. But we were kind of exclusive or whatever. But it was just on and off, and I didn't trust the road trip. We would warm up to feel mob. So I'm in there, you know, warming up to my dude's music, getting hyped for games. So it is what it is. But I like to say, I like to make it a point, like, regardless, at the end of the day, if you're from Atlanta, if you're from Georgia, people know who they are. It's not no, like, who is this? People looking, you know, making jokes. I get it. It's funny sometimes. But that is how we met. That's the truth of how we met. Go to Albany. They're going to tell you about Lexi or they'll tell you about him. like, or they'll tell you about Sean Jay, or they'll tell you about Ricardo Lockett, or they tell you know if you come from Albany, it's like they pretty much claim me like I'm theirs. Like she from Albany, <laughs> you know what I mean? So <laughs> it's like if you from Albany, it's just I don't know. It's, it is what it's it is. a standout thing. Yeah. Okay. So okay. So fantastic. You've kind of given us a bit more foundation. We can kind of get a bit more understanding. Yeah. So nineteen, he comes to your games. I know he's slightly older. It is what it is. Listen, we've all been young. So it is um, what it is. and. <laughs> <laughs> and then okay so then you said obviously you didn't kind of make it i'm guessing you didn't become official until like a year later so no were you guys... i said that because oh. we tried to be boyfriend and girlfriend something didn't sit right with me because the girls at the job was telling me stuff and i worked at a club so i was like man f this so, so then we just kept dating um then we put a title on it again it was just a lot of back and forth um Hmm. for a long time um but the difference is and that's why i get passionate when i do speak about it i was 19 20 years old Hmm. the person i was then is not even the person who i was when i found myself after i graduated after i went overseas and dealt with different people after i 
you know, was understanding who I was as a person after I'm a businesswoman now, like, that's what it is. Okay, no, I get that. I get that. So, how that first stint, how long before you guys? The Dark Arts.